Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at episode number three of how to pronounce words in English correctly. We'll take a look at the spelling of the word and the pronunciation. Are you ready for this? Sure, I am. I'm Liesl and this is Langmaster Learning System. Stay tuned. The R sound. A is pronounced as R when it comes before the consonant R. For example, bar, bar, car, car, carp, carp, far, far, star, star, the uh sound. Number one. U is pronounced as an a uh sound when it comes before most consonants. For example, up, up, rub, rub, umbrella, umbrella, Culture, culture, rush, rush. Number two, O is pronounced as an A uh sound when it is followed by M or N in many words and when it comes before the M sound in the words which contain two or more than two syllables. For example, Come, come, sun, sun, money, money, London, London, cover, cover, the up sound. The up sound is often seen in the letter O when it comes before letters T or D. For example, hot, hot, dot, dot, hot, hot, shot, shot, god, god, the or sound. Number one, O-O-R is often pronounced as OR in most cases. For example, door, door, floor, floor. Number two, similarly, O-R-E is also often pronounced as OR in many words. For example, more, more, store, store, adore, adore. Number three, O-U-R is pronounced as OR when it comes after the consonant F or P. For example, four, four, poor, poor. And number four, we can also hear or in words which contain the letters O, A, and R. For example, roar, roar. Board, board, and number five, OR is pronounced as OR when it comes before most consonants. For example, pork, pork, sport, sport, corn, corn. 
and number six. The letters A, W are pronounced as O in many cases. For example, raw, raw, straw, straw, draw, draw, law, law. So, so, and the last number seven, A U is pronounced as O in a lot of words. For example, fault, fault, daughter, daughter, cause, cause, laundry. Laundry. That's it for this episode. Remember, read through those words again and practice them. Go over, listen to how I say it, and try and repeat. I hope that's helpful. And if you did find it helpful, then like, share, and subscribe to our channel to get more helpful tips about learning English. And Leave your phone number and your email address in the comment box below if you're looking to really improve your English. For now, that's it from me, Liesl, and Langmaster Learning System. Remember, practice makes perfect. Bye.